What's up guys, Duckfin Gaming here, and we had someone sign on the moment I started. Lovely. <laughs> but we're doing some more From Dust, but before I sh get into this really quick, I just want to say, do you guys like that intro you just saw? Do you like that uh, image? Well, we got them on shirts, and they're for sale for 20 bucks. Links in the description. If you want to help us out, please buy a shirt. Okay, so no, enough begging for money. Okay, so we're doing From Dust. I'm going to do wildfires, but I just want to point something out. I've done a lot of them already, and this one right here. The Raging Earth. Oh my god, I swear. It took me like three hours to beat that one. It's insane. And this one probably is going to take just as long. I can't imagine what these last two are. They're pretty crazy. I also want to get in some challenges. That might be the next thing I show off. But for now, I want to show off the wildfires. Um, I wasn't going to make this video so quick. I was going to wait a while. And um, I was going to see what... You know, I was going to let the videos grow a little bit, but I had two people request it, and I seem to get a lot of likes on it. A lot of people will give it a thumbs up. So, you know, keep thumbing it up, keep thumbing it up, you know, leave comments, and I'll make some more of these videos, you know. I'll do requests. I don't really mind. I have done this level already. This level was, it was kind of a pain in the ass until I figured out how you got to do it. So maybe I'll help someone out that's stuck on this level. But we're doing the wildfires. <laughs> I can still talk during this because they aren't really saying in Spanish or whatever the fuck they're talking in. Alright, the main thing of this one is there's all these trees that sh set shit on fire, like that. But it also kind of absorbs water. So, the main thing about this is it will set all the trees and all the greenery on fire. So pretty much, you're going to need to get rid of all the sand in whatever you make. I also learned if you hold a X, you can actually go a lot faster with this thing. You know, Duck Finn's fan told me that. I appreciate that. It helps a lot. I might have figured it out by myself. I don't know. So anyway, we're eventually going to get over here. And there's one of these fire things here. And you'll eventually be able to move these. Around the end of the game, you'll be able to actually move these when, you know, you don't need to move them. <laughs> but right now, you pretty much, you really want to get all the dirt, like, away from your areas. Cause it's just gonna build up and just pretty much gonna end up ruining you. Stack it somewhere else. But I really like this game. It was funny. I even caught my roommate playing it earlier, and I thought that was kind of funny because you know I'm covering it, and he was like, "I just like making mountains and destroying shit," which that's fun as fuck. I was thinking about doing a video on just being an asshole and uh, doing a crazy god mode and just kill and destroy stuff. But you can't really kill your guys. The only way you can kill them is by dumping lava on their head. <laughs> it's kind of still fun though. These are water. They're like emergency water spouts. And you can pick them up in a little bit. It'll let me pick them up. But um, they come in handy. You need like some kind of fire to release them. But they come in handy. So like I said, you're going to want to get rid of all this vegetation. Suck all this stuff up because this stuff's bad. This stuff will catch fire. And it's pretty shit. We have this new, uh, this new, I don't even know if they call them, this new power to where we can put out the fire on the whole entire map. So if shit gets really hectic, we can press that and put out fire. That's telling me that that's the water things I just mentioned. It's telling me shit I know. I already know this. Come on, come on. I already told them. Come on. I wish you could like, skip this. I don't, I don't really like how you can't skip that. But anyway, I'm, I'm trying to beat this so I can have it in enough you know under 20 minutes so I can actually post it all in one go but anyway you can pick these up you can place them down but like I said just really get up all the dirt all the dirt around your land get it up I mean, they can they can live on the rocks they don't need to worry about all this soft sand but what I'm saying is if you don't get up this dirt and you start going to another area and you just leave this one the fire down there right here this one right here it'll eventually lead to just you getting fucked over what was that? It like pointed over here. Why Why did it point over here? Is there something hidden I didn't see? What's hidden there? <laughs> but anyway, you're going to want to just cut off the vegetation to any area that is has a fire thing. So we cut off the vegetation. There's no vegetation. So now, there's no greenery. There's no trees. My area over here will not get destroyed. So let's put this in a good spot. Alright. So now let's move on. I'm going to move on to this one. Again, you want to pick up all the dirt around these fire things. You do not want these to catch everything on fire. It's really annoying. It's 
It's really annoying. Trust me, I don't even have to say any more. It's just it's super annoying when your village starts catching on fire. And it's really hard to put out. If you don't get it like right away, you're kind of screwed. See how it's starting to flame? You don't want this. Pick up all that shit and get it out of here. But think about this vegetation, it spreads so like rapidly that you never you never know. You might actually spread it somewhere and not even know and it just screws you over. Do you see now how all this kind of is getting over here? All the vegetation's growing here, and eventually this will all catch fire. It'll all catch fire, and the heat will open up this valve, and it'll like drop water, and it'll kind of fix itself. So I don't really have to worry about it. And just in case it gets a little hectic and it does get close to here, we'll have this as a backup. That'll spew water out the moment the fire hits it, and it'll pretty much put it out. So it's telling me there's something over there I have to go click. I don't even remember. But look at that, the vegetation has already grown back a lot around here. I have to kill that fast. If I don't get rid of that vegetation quick, this little thing right here will destroy my entire village. So first thing you wanna do, get rid of the vegetation. It's like no soup for you, no trees for you. And I do this in a lot. I, I try to get rid of the, I try to get rid of this stuff on like every map now. I give no fucks about this stuff anymore. Cause like on the later maps, volcanoes will erupt and just destroy everything. There you go. There's a sample of what it does. Have to block this shit. It'll destroy everything. But it's all about the sand. Just get up the sand as quick as you possibly can. <laughs> I'm making this one more of a tutorial video. I know guys are probably just watching it just for fun too, but I don't know. I think this is a challenging level. When I first did it, I had no clue what to do. I was like, what the fuck? All right, so that's pretty much up and covered. You can't really get any fire coming from that way. You gotta cover here too. So, uh, damn it, I told you earlier, dude, I'm fucking playing this game and not to send me that, but whatever. Okay, so I'm, uh, I was pretty good there. So now it said to come over here, right? So what did it want me to do over here? I'm not sure what it was it wanted me to do over here. Did I have to go get this relic again? I already got this relic once. Maybe not, maybe not. So, uh, oh, look at that, it's being burnt down because there's so much shit here gotta get it's like this whole level is just you having to pick up all the sand and move it somewhere away from these fire things the whole entire level actually try to like flood this out a little bit so the fire can't really do anything so this is like one where actually water really helps and you're like yeah water <laughs> water for the win all right so we've got that flooded out i don't think it's gonna burn anymore so let's move on it's the next place we're going hopefully there's no fire and there is of course there is. I wish you could just delete that dirt. I mean, you can. There's this uh, evaporation where it just takes like, well, not evaporation, but there's this other perk later on that you get that pretty much just sucks up everything and deletes it. That's a really good perk. I just, I really wish for this game that you could just have a sandbox mode and just pretty much fuck around and do whatever you want to do, but there is no mode like that. It's just just these puzzles and challenges so I might have missed it you know I don't want to go off and saying there is completely no mode like that and then there'd be some shit I didn't see but I would really appreciate a mode where I don't have to really deal with this having to you know die maybe it's got a mode where I can just have infinite everything because later in the game you get stuff where you can just build out you can put down as much dirt as you want you can put out all fires you can absorb stuff you can make stuff you can make stuff brighter, and if and if I go to that village right there, and make that happen, I can remove all the fire stuff. See, I'm burning through this. We're only nine minutes in, and this probably took me about forty minutes to do the first time. But since I already know how to do it, it's pretty much more simple. So it gives me these fire patches over here, just in case something happens. Uh, I call these fire patches, but uh, I call them like they're just they're big cactuses. And they have water in them, and I guess I'll, let me see if I can show you one here. Whenever something hot goes near him, he like floods with water. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see that, but I'll try to keep an eye on it. Alright, so our, our last area we have to get to is way over here in Bunfuck, Egypt. <laughs> like I said, your main thing is you have to just collect all this dirt. Just get all this stuff up first. Not worry about anything else. Just get all this crap up. Load it on up over here somewhere. Have an area where you don't have to worry about all this dirt. 
Because the moment you get this as your town, you'll be able to remove all this stuff around it. All these fire things, you'll be able to remove it. Like, right away. And it'll pretty much be over. So, the sooner I get them over here, the sooner this map's done. Alright, so I finally got all this up. I can pretty much get them over here now. I just Now I'm going to need to actually start building a bridge so they can actually get over here. So collect all this sand and dirt, as much as you need, and we're going to have to bridge this gap. They might could walk over there without bridge, and I don't know, when I get that, I got that evaporation, when you hit that, it sucks all the water out pretty much. It gets really hot because it's a desert. So, uh, yes, I know, you don't have to tell me that, I have vegetation, I know. Look at that little guy, he just like showed up out of nowhere. But anyway, when you do that, you can start building up your bridge pretty much, when you do that evaporation thing. Comes in handy though. Use the evaporation thing, and they're pretty much able just to walk on over here. I'm gonna need a lot more dirt though. Making sure nothing, nothing's going wrong here. What's going on over here? This guy, you gotta kind of check your villages just in case this shit starts to build up again. You don't want the village to be destroyed because you have a damn tree sitting somewhere. You know what I mean? So anyway, you see how bright it is? That's because like you use that special ability I just did. It pretty much makes it where everything's like, oh my god, I can't see. It just makes it hot. You know, you're in a fucking desert. What do you expect? That's colorful. I like how colorful that is. But anyway, I mean, I'm just trying to make this bridge here. Oh. It's, it's about to, like, come back up, but... But the next time I'm able to do that, when it loads back up, I'll be able to go ahead and uh, get them over here, I think. It might stay down, though. I'm not sure. I'll go ahead and just try to send him over here and see what happens. I'm not sure if it just sucks all the water. Yeah, it looks like it just sucks all the water up permanently. And it doesn't come back. That's pretty cool. Because I, I kind of expected it to come back and be like flooded again. But it didn't. So that's a pretty awesome perk. So when they get over here, I'll probably be like, uh, put on the, the fire perk or something. But like, you really don't need that. Like, the moment... The moment they get over here, I'll be able to move all these fire trees, and we won't have to worry about anything. I just want to give you an example of these fire trees, how they work. Or these uh, cactuses. Because, I mean, I like the cactuses. They came in a lot of handy, but i got to find something that's on fire. <laughs> that one, okay. Put them down, and the fire, it, 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 the water comes out. See how the, all the water came out and just kind of floods up the place and puts out the fire? That's what they do, and they refit, they refill in the water. So if you put them too deep in the water, though, they'll disappear. They'll, like, die. But see how it, like, sucks up the water? So, I mean, you know, you can use your breath, but you find these things, like, full of water. You don't have anywhere else to put them. Or you don't have any other location to get water, so it helps. But, yay, one of my first guys got here. I will tell you, on the later levels, these guys are idiots. Like, they won't go the correct way. They'll be, like, standing at, like, a uh, 2,000 foot, like, volcano, and they can't get on top. And they'll be like, help me. You're like, dude, how the hell am I supposed to help you? <laughs> it's funny. So, now that this is made, I'm going to be able to pull up all these fire things. But, first, I want to get rid of this vegetation. I'm going to get rid of it quick. Don't want any trouble. See? See? See, this is trouble. Fire. Fire's trouble. We start with this bullshit. Anyway, it's time to remove these. Get these out the way. Take them and shove them somewhere where they won't cause any harm to you, your people, and everything. Just get them the hell out the way. Suck up the rest of this stuff here so no fires happen. Got to get rid of the sand. That is like the major point that I can stress in this level. But we're done. I can go ahead and end the game now. But uh, we're 14 minutes in. I'm going to make this video a little bit longer. Just move some of this stuff around. Get out the way, fire stuff. So now, oh, that's a big fire right there. So now we don't have to worry about fire. Got all the fire out the way. We got all the dust out the way. No more fire. And so I can go ahead and leave right here if I want. But I'll go ahead and get it set up. But I'm not going to leave yet. I'm going to go over here and flood this area. No more fire. I really hate these things. They're quite annoying. They come in handy at later levels to like blow up bombs. You get these bomb plants and you need these fire things to blow them up so you can kind of carve the mountain. That's when they come in handy, but right now they're just here to annoy you. Yeah. 
there wasn't that much water over here because of that evaporation I did earlier. So I'm gonna put these here and drop all that water down. Will it flood that? No, it didn't. Good. I was about to say, don't go in there and flood my shit now. There, now we have some crazy nice water. It works. They're screaming a little bit. It got in their face. Got in their face a little bit. They're like, "Oh my god!" All right. So um, now we have everybody at our place, so we can go ahead and move along. So that's how you do the uh, fire level. It was kind of difficult when I first did it, but I did it within 15 minutes now, and it's pretty much done. That's the level, and that's pretty much it. And my guy's dancing over here. So um, I'm gonna like turn everything on before I go. <laughs> Get on the thing. Press A. There you go. So, that's it, we did another level. From, this was a request from a couple people that raided my uh, zombie map. So, um, we're gonna about to have some more zombie maps up. The next map we're gonna have is one of my buddies. Is uh, He has some mods, and I'm not big on mods. I don't like cheating on games. I don't like it, but we're gonna do it for fun. We're not doing it to get any high scores. We're just doing it for fun. And um, yeah, we're gonna do some more World at War. But if you wanna see some more of this stuff, I wanna do some of the challenges. So you guys want to see some challenges? I'll do them soon. Just leave it in the comment that you want to see some more. Give it a thumbs up and you know let it grow some. I don't want to post these. I don't want to post a few a day. You know what I mean? If I post a few a day, then I'll get like 20 hits on each one. But if I spread them out and do like one or two every like few days, then they can actually get a good amount of plays. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's from Dust. That's how we do the wildfires level. And if you won't need any more help with any of the levels, I'll try to do them. But I'm telling you, when you do something like the Raging Earth, that could be like four videos. That is a very hard map. So, you know, just be careful if you have any requests on what level you want me to do next. But I really want to do some challenges. Challenges are really fun. I've already, I've already seen a couple of them, and they're very unique. So we'll get into that a little bit later this week. And that's pretty much it. Hey, try to support us, man. We really need the help. Try to buy a duck fin shirt. Do whatever you can. We really, really need the support right now. It's really hard times. So thank you, to this, thank you for listening to me rant very fast and stumbling my words most of the time. But uh, yeah, rate, subscribe, comment, do all that great stuff. And that's Duck Fins out.